Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Abba Mechadri and welcome to our physics class. Today we are going to cover the rest of the chapter, chapter 2.08, which is main electricity. So let's not delay anymore and let's begin. I would request everyone to please write the chapter name and number. Chapter number, chapter 2.08 and name of the chapter is Mains Electricity. So let me give a short review of the previous things we have discussed. So before starting the chapter, I have said that oh, we have to get the basic idea of Mains Electricity. So, main electricity is the general purpose alternating current electric power supply. It's nothing else than the electric power supply we are getting in our house is known as the main power supply or main electricity. The main electricity is the general purpose alternating current electric power supply. The electric power supply we are getting to our houses from the main source or the main office of current that is the main electricity. Alternating current flows forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards and so many times per second. So as I have said that there are two types of current. One is alternating current and one is direct current. So this chapter today we have to learn about alternating current first. So alternating current is a type of current. Alternating current is a type of current which flows backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards many times per second. And now we are going to learn about what is a light wave. A light wave is a wire carrying an electrical current. It's basically the main wire. It's basically the main wave which is carrying the electricity, which is carrying the electricity in a circuit or which is carrying uh, the electricity in a circuit to the bulb or to the fan or to anything else. When the wire is current carrying, the current carrying wire is known as the light wire. The current carrying wire is known as the light wire. Neutral wire completes the circuit. It is at zero voltage. Neutral wire completes the circuit. Now, we have said that switch must be fitted in light wear. Switch must be fitted in light wear. And the reason is that we know that the light wear carries current. So whenever, if the switch is not placed in light wear, even if we switch off, even if we switch off, still there will be current flowing. Still the circuit will be complete. Instead of putting the switch in light wire, if we put the switch in neutral wire or in arc wire, the circuit will be complete still. The circuit will be complete but still there will be current passing even though the switch is off. Even though the switch is off, the current will be passing. So it's very necessary to put a switch on light wire as whenever we, will, we are going to switch off, the circuit will break and the circuit will be incomplete as we know that an incomplete circuit cannot allow current to pass through. Through an insert, incomplete circuit, current doesn't pass. So, if the user or if any person touches the switch or if there is anything, then the person will not get a shock. The person is not gonna is not going to get a shock. So now we have known what is a fuse and what's a earth wire. We have known what is a switch and what is what sorry, what's a switch, what's a fuse and earth wire. Till now I have given a short revision about what is main electricity. Alternating current, light wire, neutral wire, and switch. So now I am going to say about fuse. So now fuse, fuse, a strip of wire of metal inserted in a in an electrical circuit or or in an electric circuit which melts down, it gets too heated by overflow of current. 
switch is nothing else than a glass thing or a thin piece of wire in a box a thin piece of wire in a box which is not a plastic box which is not a plastic box which is not a plastic box the fuse the main thing the main wear of the fuse is not in the plastic box it's either in the glass or the in a metal one there is a thin stripe of metal wire there is a thin stripe of metal wire which melts there is a thin stripe of metal wire which melts and if there is overflow of current if there is overflow of current the thin piece the thin stripe melts the thin stripe melts the thin stripe of wire melts due to the overflow of current now there is a question that why does it melt due to the overflow of current as when there will be overflow of current when there is going to be overflow of current the thin piece of metal wire is going to be too much is going to be heated is going to get hot suppose when there is a contact suppose chula je jolte se ekhane agun ber hocche ekhane tumi jodi samne jodi hat rakho upore hat rakho ekta nirdishto porjoy tomar hat tin tu jole jabe your skin will burn your hands will burn after a certain period of time and when before the certain period of time that's your limit that's your limit of accepting the heat that's your limit of accepting the heat it the same good thing good works for the thin type of wire যতক্ষণ পর্যন্ত এটা গরমটা সহ্য করতে পারতেছে ততক্ষণ পর্যন্ত বলতেছে না কিন্তু দ্য থিন পিস অফ মেটাল ওয়ার হ্যাজ অলসো ইটস ওন ক্যাপাবিলিটি ইফ দ্য ওভার ইফ দ্য হিট গোজ ওভার অফ ইটস ক্যাপাবিলিটি দেন ইটস বাউন্ড টু মেলস অ্যান্ড মেন ইট মেলস ইট ইনকম ইট ব্রেকস দ্য সার্কিট সো দ্য সার্কিট বিকামস ইনকমপ্লিট হেন্স দেয়ার উইল বি নো হেন্স দেয়ার উইল বি নো chance of getting an electric shock as the circuit is incomplete there will be no current passing through the circuit and just like the switch the fuse is also the just like the switch the fuse is also fixed or put in the live wire it's the same reason the reason why switch is put in the live wire the it's almost the same reason the fuse is put in the live wire as the live wire is carrying current as the live wire is the current carrying wire so when the current is passing the fuse is is passing through the fuse also is passing through the fuse also and when the, there will be an overflow of current the fuse the capability and the amount of current which is over the capability of the fuse the thin stripe metal will melt the thin stripe metal will melt which is going to make the which means that the fuse will burst or break down the fuse will burst or break down which will make the circuit incomplete which is going to make the circuit incomplete so the current is not going to flow now let us come to the earth wire earth wire this is a safety wire it connects the metal casing of the heater to or metal casing of an electrical device to the earth and stops it becoming live by this thing i mean that it is a safety wire it's a safety wire is you know karan it a at a electrical component a metal casing electrical component at a metal casing metal casing take it a and whenever the if the light wire that even if the light wire tears up if the light wire tears and touches the metal casing and if there is an arc wire connected the current is going to pass through the arc wire the current is going to pass through the arc wire as it has a low resistance the arc wire provides an alternative pathway for the current to flow with a lower resistance or you can say 
Kyle flows through the the Kyle field flows through all the well because it provides a low resistance alternative pathway for the current to flow. Arc well provides a low resistance arc well provides a low resistance alternative pathway for the current to flow. That's the main purpose of arc well. So let's think of let's think of of an example. Let's think of an example. An analytical kitchen, and the electrical kitchen is the most common example. Let's think of another example, which is an electrical toaster. In the morning, you have woke you have woke you woke up, and you are going to make toast. You are going to make toast. So you have put the switch. You have connected the plug into the switch, and you have switched on. And you don't know. As we do not have X-ray vision like Superman, as we do not have X-ray vision like Superman, so we cannot, or uh, we will not know if somehow the light may tears and connect to the metal casing of the electrical toaster. If as we do not have super or uh, X-ray vision like Superman, we are not going to know if the light may tears up and connects. To the metal casing of the electrical toaster. Then, if we touch the electrical toaster after switching it on, we are going to get a severe amount of electric shock. We are going to get a electrical shock. So, if there is an arc where in car, the current is going to flow from the arc where instead of the light where, as I have said that the arc where provides a low resistance alternative pathway. The arc well provides a low resistance alternative pathway for the current to flow. Now, this is basically a short revision, or you can say I have explained the previous things one more time. Now, today we are going to come to the main point. Today we are going to see a plug. We are going to see a plug. And we are going to also see. We are going to also learn about double insulation. We are going to learn about double insulation. So before seeing a plug, we are going to first. We are going to learn about double insulation. Double insulation protects the user of the appliance. Double insulation protects the user of the appliance from any electrical shock by preventing any possibility of external casing becoming live. Approaching the cloth. Now this is a situation where you your electrical device does not have a neutral wire, and neither it has a it has a neutral wire. The electrical com component, the electrical component have a neutral wire, but it doesn't have an arc wire or a fuse. What are you going What are you going to do? It doesn't have an arc wire or a fuse. What are you going to do? It is. It has to be then double insulated, and we double insulate with plastic. As I have said in the previous chapters, as I have said in the previous chapters, plastic acts like a guard in the president house. But there is slight difference. As there is a slight difference, as the guard of the president house will not allow any common person into the president house. Except higher officials with permission, the double insulation is little bit different. It follows strict rule. It follows strict rule like the special trained army officers. I don't know that you guys know this information or not. That every country has few soldiers who are specially trained for the many difficult situations. They are just going to follow the orders of their superiors without listening or without thinking a, a, a second time. Without thinking a second time, they are going to directly follow the orders from their superiors. And this double insulation acts like that. This plastic acts like that. They have they have the target. They have the order that they are not going to allow current to pass. So they are not going to allow current to pass at any cost. It doesn't matter. The current doesn't matter how much big amount of current it is. It cannot pass. It will never pass. The material plastic is made like this. So whenever we double insulate. 
we are going if you go to, if you go to RFL you are going to see electrical water heating kettle you are going to see electrical water heating kettle just see the outer side is made up of plastic but the, there is inner side which is made up of first it is made up of metal then it is insulated with plastic then it is insulated with plastic so that the user does not get any shock as most of our houses as most of our houses have two pin plugs instead of three pin plugs in three pin plugs there is an arc well but in two pin plugs there is only a light well and neutral well in two pin plugs there is a light well and neutral well so as there is no arc well neither a fuse as there is no arc well neither a fuse so this double insulation is another way so this double insulation is another way in they double insulate the kettle, the double insulate the kettle and make design on the outer side of the plastic. So it becomes beautiful and it also double insulates the, it also insulates the electrical kettle. So even the light well touches the electrical kettle, the user won't get shocked. For example, this electrical kettle, if an electrical kettle if an electrical kettle light well, if an electrical kettle light well, if an electrical kettle light well touches the metal casing inside, if the electrical kettle light well touches the metal casing inside, if the kettle is not double insulated, the user will get a shock. But if the kettle is insulated with plastic, it does not matter at light well, it does not matter at that time whether the kettle has light well. Uh, whether the kettle it has it does not if the kettle if the kettle is double insulated if the kettle is double insulated then at that matter it does not matter that the kettle has arc wire or not it doesn't matter at that time that the kettle has arc wire or not as it is double insulated with plastic the user won't get any shock the user won't get any shock. Let us draw a diagram to understand the, understand it better. But before that, I am going to write the double insulation thing, the double insulation paragraph, and I am I will also write the example. So I will really hope you guys that you will write the things and take or you will guys you guys will take an essay. So, as you guys are seeing that I have written the thing, I have written the paragraph about double insulation. Double insulation protects the user of an appliance. Double insulation, I N S U L A T I O N, protects the user of an appliance from getting shock by preventing any possibility of the external causing becoming life. Full stop. I'm keeping it for a little bit longer so you guys can write it or take an SS. I hope you guys have taken SS or written this. I'm going to erase this thing and we are going to write the example. Oh, so you guys are seeing my. I have written. So you guys are seeing that I have written the example if the live wear of an electrical kettle touches the metal casing, comma. The user will get a shock. The user will get a shock. You can write. You can write. User will get an electric shock, or user will get a shock. Both the same. Get a shock if the kettle is not double insulated. For me, I would suggest don't write an electrical shock, as you have already written. As you have already written electrical kettle. As you have already written electrical kettle, it already means that it already means that the kettle is powered by electricity. It converts electricity, electrical energy, converts electrical energy into heat energy to heat water. Right? We, by the word electrical kettle, we are understanding this thing, right? So now, if the light well of an electrical kettle touches the metal casing, comma, 
the user will get a shock if the kettle is not double insulated full stop if the kettle is not double insulated let me repeat the first paragraph one more time if the live wire l i v e w i r e live wire of an electrical kettle e l e c t r i c a l electrical kettle k e t t l e kettle touches the metal casing comma the user will get a shock if the kettle is not double insulated full stop if the kettle is double insulated the user will not get a shock as plastic or ppc does not let or allow you can let anyone does not let or does not allow current to pass through i would suggest right to write allow as it sounds more symphonic as it sounds more symphonic and it sounds good according to the sentence it sounds good but it's up to you if you write let they are going to give you mark if you write allow they are going to give you mark but i would suggest allow as it's more related to physics than let we use the word let mostly in mathematics and mathematics is the only subject where you can imagine anything to be x your x anything to be your x and that's the only subject or that's the only place where you can find the value of x and also find the value of y i hope you have understand my joke i know its name but still so we are going to see an electrical kettle we are going to see an electrical kettle right now then we are going to see a plug in shamba i don't know that you guys will laugh by seeing my drawing or not but believe me i tried my best i tried my best and i think it's understandable to make you guys understand to or to explain you guys that there is a see the black part the black drawing part is the insulated plastic the red one is the metal casing and the green one is the thermal the green one is a thermal so when you connect the switch when you connect the plug the two pin plug i know the two pin plug looks disgusting it looks horrible and even worse and the switch is the worst the switch is the worst but still as i'm not an artist as i'm not an artist still i have tried my best to make you guys understand or to draw the best thing i can see the black one is the insulated plastic the red one is the metal casing and the green one is the thermal so when e so when we plug in the switch so when we plug in the switch the electrical energy is taken by the the electrical energy is taken by the kit the electrical energy is here by the kettle and the electrical energy is the electrical energy is taken by the kettle and the metal casing gets heated the metal casing gets heated the electrical energy is taken by the electrical kettle and it's transferred into heat energy which in case heat the metal casing outside and which in enter which ultimately heats the thermal which ultimately heats the thermal and the th in the water in and when the thermal is heated enough or when the thermal is hot enough the water starts to getting first the water starts getting warm then it starts getting boiled then it starts getting boiled then it gets starting Bold. I hope you guys have understand the kettle one. Now let's see that I can see I can give you a watch plug, right? We will draw. We I will try my best to draw a plug now. 
the video may be lengthy but it's very important I know I know I know that this may be the worst the worst there is no word called the worstest but still if there was if there was a word like worstest it would be the worstest drawing I have ever drawn but still I hope you guys are clearly able to understand but if you don't no worries I'm going to I have a hand drawn thing on the paper I have a hand drawn on the paper and I will repost it as a short video I will repost the diagram as a short video so no worries no worries no tension I will repost the video inshallah so on a special request of a friend named Zarif Hossein, a friend named Zarif, so he have a page, he have a page named in ball where he actually tries to create things like making templates or making templates and making cards etc etc. So if you like, so if you guys like you can give him your job to do so let's keep it till today so assalamu alaikum everyone have a nice day